everyone, and welcome to Spooky Findings. I'm your host, Sonya! Woo. I'm so excited this year. A lot of places have been getting a Halloween, and I know the past two years, it's been lackluster. So it's putting me in a great mood. So I kind of done this place already, but I said I'd take it back, or go back, because they had like a small amount, and that is TJ Maxx. Now they have a crap ton, and every time I go, they seem to be adding more and more. So if you have a uh, TJ Maxx near you, keep going because they add new stuff like all the time. And if you're new here, yes, I'm Sonia. This is S Family Studios, and I do a lot of shop with me, some taste tests, and a little bit of vlogging. So if you like this video, please like my past season of Suzuki Findings and subscribe to the channel. It made a lot. And without further ado, let's go with the TJ Maxx shop with me. Home of the Wicked Witch mug. Pretty cool and green. Hello, fall. Too cute to spook. With a little kitty cat. Here are some shorts. Day of the Dead, Sugar Skull ones. Uh, I think they're supposed to be pumpkin spice latte and pumpkins. Pumpkins and leaves. This one was a Ray Dunn coffee, please. I was trying to find the words. <laughs> Hello, fall. Kind of just like a folly color. Here's some dogs and pumpkins. Boo, Ray Dunn, orange and black. Puppies again. This girl loves Halloween. With some shorts. I have pants. Well, no puppies out there, but the shorts of that plaid pumpkin I have the pants of. Here's a robe that says this girl loves Halloween. There's again shorts with puppies on it and pumpkins. Pumpkin blankets. Autumn saying give thanks. Autumn. Pumpkins. Truck with a dog in it. Good life brand. Life is good brand. Ray Dunn pumpkin. A folly Ray Dunn blanket. Uh, sunflowers. Country style. Little hedgehog leaves and things. Mushrooms and leaves. This one was very detailed. Trucks, pumpkins, trees. It was really pretty. Burlap sap looking uh, sunflower pumpkin. Sherpa line redone. Orange. Orange plaid. Like a purple plaid. Ghost rug. Happy Halloween. Uh, candy corn. Boo. Bats. These are like kitchen mats and rugs. Sugar skull. Underneath that was a pumpkin. Jack o' lantern. Melted ghost. Spider webs and spider. Mariachi like blanket. This one was a witchy one with bats, ca cauldron, broom, pastel, Halloween scenes. <laughs> Ghosts and pumpkins. Believe in magic. Witchy blanket. Minnie Mouse witch. Candy corn redone. Here's a coffee one that was redone that was just kind of there. Hocus pocus kind of one with witches, bats, and kitty cats. This one was cool. It was really colorful. Green in the cauldron. Bats. Someone stuck a dish towel there. <laughs> skulls. Here are skulls. Salt and pepper shakers. Pretty cool. This whole table was like a ghost themed. This little guy was actually a stress ball. Cool for kids. Ghostin. Underneath that was a ghost placemat. Jack skeleton kind of pumpkin. Haunting. Boo gnome there. Light up ghost. Like a witchy blanket again. This said hocus pocus. Purple and black. Candelabra, the skulls, happy Halloween sign, disco ball, pumpkin. And that's a planter that's basically speak no evil. Pumpkin stack that lights up, mummy, candy bowl, skull, uh, and puppy stress ball thing. And there's sugar skull placements under that. A gold, uh, a gold skull in a globe. <laughs> Mariachi guy, skeleton, planters, skeleton couple, gnome witch, skull candy bowl, and soap dispensers. Here's a skull uh, 
coffee stand, coffee cup stand. I think those are coasters. Not really sure. <laughs> Skeleton owl and skulls with snake around it. Trick or treat bucket. S snake one, I guess, with some flowers coming out of it. Camper with ghosts and pumpkins. Gnome jar. Bad witch and good witch cup. Little witch. I th I'm not sure if it opened or not. Kitty witch. I think those are tarot cards. Namaste witches. Little trees. I put a spell on you. Conga line of little trick-or-treaters. Witch snow globe. Glittery trees. Boots with flowers in it. A puppy wearing a witch hat. Here's a snow globe with a skeleton couple. And a truck. <laughs> Not sure what those were. These are tarot cards. Your dream will come true. And here are boxes. This one was like a spooky tree and a moon. This is like a Ouija board one. Weird looking pumpkin. Happy pumpkin. Uh, speak here, see no evil. There's a skeleton or skull jar. Here's more of their like Thanksgiving, and there's a little jack o' lantern fall things. Table covers. Placemat. Garland. Little finger there. <laughs> Here's a ghost with some candy corn. That was a candle, I believe. Bunch of candles. Owl and fall. Uh, uh, kitchen towels. Here's a pumpkin rolling pin. Pretty cool. Here's like their pastel goth muted Halloween. I guess everywhere, even Michaels is doing it, where it's all like light blues, pinks, greens, stuff like that. TJ Maxx has a little bit of it. <laughs> like the skulls handing, holding a pastel bowl, pastel pink bowl. Happy Halloween, pink. Palm reader candle. Velvet pumpkin and a pink gnome. Here's some dog witches and pumpkin. I think a mummy or monster. Life is good pumpkin blanket. There's another puppy one in a truck. Witches flying with the cat and bats. Ballerina skeletons. Here's some fall ones with mo mostly pumpkins. Just a random spider rug. And they have a lot of like black and orange rugs that would fit the Halloween theme. A shower curtain. Here's a soap like dish holder. Snoopy and Mickey. This is kitty toys. And the rest is like dog chewing toys and things like that. The little pumpkin with the hole, I think, is a hamster hideout. Got some pigs, squeaky toys. Just a bunch of animal Halloween toys. I don't know why they always have them every year. <laughs> Here are the children Halloween pajamas. Boo Crew, my first Halloween. Here's just like a skeleton one with candy and different uh, Halloween themes. Ghost bats and pumpkins. Elmo and a pumpkin. skeleton one. Kitty and a pumpkin. Another ghost and pumpkin. Monster truck for boys. Little ghost. It's hard to show them because they're so stacked. Ghost onesie. Little girly one with pumpkins. Pumpkin hat. They had, I think they had that one last year. That one had a ghost on it. It said boo. This is a blanket with a little pumpkin and the pumpkin rattled and made like noises. Here are kitty and dog bowls. This was supposed to be in the toddler section. It's my first Halloween basket and blanket. 
wicked cute bowl lick or treat happy halloween bad to the bone wicked cute costume angel wings they had a couple more too but they're all scattered these are kid costumes pumpkin there's a lion i think this was a pig because it has hooves <laughs> and little dresses and fairy costumes bee and ladybug there's a dragon there like you could well i guess that was a dinosaur i think the other one was a dragon that you can ride well it looks like you're riding it yeah there's a dragon cinderella dress there's a snow white one Here's like a pumpkin and ghost theme table. The pumpkin again is a stress ball. I thought it was pretty cool and it'd be cute for kids. Little truck, boo planter, trick or treat sign, happy haunting, pumpkin queen. I like those little vampires up there, they're pretty cool. This is a really detailed dish towel. I'm like, that's pretty awesome for a dish towel. Ghosts that would match the placemats, haunted house, thankful, there's a kitty one. Pumpkins, stay spooky, happy Halloween. I like this ghost and pumpkin table runner also. Spider webs, sugar skull. Here's a mummy candy corn. And a bat, ghost, and pumpkin garland. I think those were decorations underneath it for a spooky tree. Pumpkin candy dish. Yoga skeleton. Some skull candles. No mug, sugar skull sign, a web mug, some uh, velvet skull planters, spiders, biting blossoms, little jack o' lantern planter. I'm not sure what this was, it just said countdown to Halloween. I have no idea what it was. There's some pasta, little gnome, ghost garland, some puppies. More garland with like a pumpkin candy corn back there. Peanuts little uh, light. Rotation light. They had a Nightmare Before Christmas one too, but it was kind of buried. More gnomes holding pumpkins. Little spooky haunted house. I love this plate. It has a witch. Pumpkins around it. Coasters. Right done. Here are placemats. There's webs. Pumpkins. There's one of them. They have like, these ones were like rubber, I think. Kind of like a rubber one. More pumpkin ones right there. Skull canisters. The witch. Some more plates. Here are shower curtains. Here's ghosties. Sugar skulls. I think the one behind that is another ghost one. Yes. Little spatulas, peanuts. Autumn themed. Some more mugs, a platter with a king skull, some more mugs, puppies, different mugs. I love this towel of orange and black. Uh, baby Yoda holding a pumpkin, another gnome holding a pumpkin, a witch's brew sign. Here's a skull banner garland thing. And here are mini trees, great for little Halloween villages, or just tabletop decor. A couple more garlands, a gnome, potion brew spells, a little mummy gnome, Snoopy beside him, more gnomes. I like gnomes during Halloween and Christmas. I know everyone's getting sick of them, but I love them. There's a Frankenstein, candy corn devil and witch, uh, vampire ghost, some weird looking pumpkin, a spooky uh, radio, trick or treater pumpkin, countdown to pumpkin or a map, happy Halloween, boo, and wicked hand towels, welcome pumpkin. Here's like a weird drinks, weird Halloween drinks, happy Halloween towels, another boo one, boo pillow. Purple with a witch hat, more witches, hocus pocus. Here's a couple of their wreaths and pumpkins that you can probably make your own. Here's a Halloween-y one right there, more pumpkins, garland. 
this mug was my favorite. Very Halloween oriented. <laughs> Here's some gothic decor. Some boots, jack, a couple garlands. Give thanks. Little harvest Mickey. Turkey, garlands and tabletop decor. Trucks, walking to our patch mat. Here's some pastel pink pumpkins, jack o' lanterns. Another truck, different fall mugs. Pa I thought these were real, but they're paper plates. <laughs> Dutch ovens. I think they are brie makers, but you could still probably use them as a small Dutch oven. More fall kitchen towels and oven mitts. And a couple fall table runners. Mostly pumpkins. I like that little pumpkin tray right there. You gotta have the trucks. Here's a skull bedazzled pillow, a spider web. And I love this one, it's really fluffy, the skull one. Sorry for the quickness. Boo pillow, another spider web pillow, and their pastel little monsters live here. Another spider and cobweb one. Spider web, same thing. Little cool bows to decorate with. Candy corn trees, and a truck with a tree. I think this was a cheese board with a graveyard on it. Witch place mats, more canisters and cups, pumpkin spice latte candle. Another mug, Happy Halloween Witches, I think this one said. More coffee cup stands, pumpkin love, stay alive. These are like witch villain, or Disney villains plates. Peanuts mug, and a skeleton on a moon. Skeleton waffle maker, or skull waffle maker. Here's like a cauldron mug with uh, some witch vibes on it. Mickey Mouse pumpkin. Whatever the Ouija thing is, I can't remember what it's called. Oracle? Is that what it's called? Let me know in the comments. Good morning, pumpkin. Here's some fall socks. Has like pumpkin spice lattes on it, trucks, gnomes, and just like really fall colors. Pumpkins. These are like sweater, or yeah, sweater socks. <laughs> Fluffy. Candy corn and pumpkin. Ouija board mat, uh, notepads, and there's gnome ones. This is a pillow and blanket set, a pumpkin pillow, gnome painters, some puzzles. I'm sorry if there was like a lot of jump cuts there were so many people in there and I was trying not to be in the way and trying not to have them on my butt but anyway I have a small haul hopefully I can probably get more stuff because I had so much cool things like I'm trying to get more household items like some of the spatula sets um, kitchen mats and like all year round things because I have a lot of decorations and I'm trying to like minimize it and only get things that I really really want or look really cool cute so, anyway, without further ado, here's my small haul. The first is this little guy. He's kind of like a shiny metallic black skull. They have a clear one of this and like a matte black that's um, not shiny. I guess what you, I th you guys want to mean. It's just like a little cookie jar. Not too big, not too small. Decent. I mean, you could use it for like flour or sugar. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for. I'm thinking maybe uh, tea bags. This I got a little while ago. It was a two pack of shorts, pajamas. Here's the first kind of like lame, stripedy one. And these ones I had to get because I think they just screamed me. We have little ghosties with cupcakes. 
We got like a uh, Frankenstein cupcake, jack o' lantern, uh, green and orange cupcakes, and he's like hugging the cupcake. <laughs> and that, if you if you don't know, I'm like a huge baker also, so I had to get these because they screwed me. And I didn't get this in store, but I did get it online. I think it's online at Marshalls also. But this awesome heavy hello. I'm not really sure what it's made out of, but it kind of feels like that um, foam where if you squeeze it, you open it back up and it slowly retracts. You know what I'm saying? Memory foam. It's not memory foam. It's kind of like this weird cotton stuff that you squeeze and it opens back up. It's not like one piece. It's a bunch. Anyway, this comes off. This is just a cover. It comes off so you can wash it. And it's like normal pillow, but I saw it online and I, I think I saw it last year. I needed it. I love skulls and it's so soft. I'm excited to use it. So I hope you enjoyed this little TJ Maxx thing. I want you guys to stay tuned because I do have like a little bit of a huge spooky trip coming up soon. So stay tuned for the next couple weeks. And uh, thanks for joining me and see you later on Spooky Findings. Bye!